In this lesson, I'm going to talk about our final project, which focuses on idealization of the human figure. Now, every culture from the beginning of time has created an idealized form that sort of encapsulates the virtues, the character, and the physical type that that culture idealizes. And the most famous one, the one we're most familiar with as, as part of Western culture, is the Greek ideal. And that is epitomized in the figures of Apollo and Aphrodite. Now, we have an Aphrodite cast in our classroom. It's a Greek cast from ancient times. And that is one of the uh, um, idealized forms of the Greeks most adhered to. And um, you can see, uh, here's my schematic drawing of the Greek head from our classroom. And you can see how um, certain proportions dominated. Also, the grace of the gesture um, dominated. And uh, what the Greeks found was that certain proportions were beautiful and certain gestures were graceful and therefore beautiful. Um, our mo we have a modern understanding of this ideal um, based on the Greek version. And we can see it in the work of Dana Gibson. Now, Dana Gibson uh, was a wildly popular illustrator at the beginning of the 20th century. And uh, you may have heard of the Gibson girl. And it, he took the Greek ideal and created a modern woman that epitomized a lot of the characteristics of the Greek ideal. And you can see the similarities between the two. The, the raised hair, almost like a crown, the distinctive brow ridge, the brow ridge to distinctive nose line, the curve of the lips, the grace of the neck. And what's important is that Gibson just didn't do this to create a beautiful woman. He empowered women at the beginning of the 20th century to, to be able to vote, to hold public office, to be independent from a man's household. So Gibson was so influential in creating and empowering um, our modern sense of womanhood that, uh, that he was able to do graphically by merging the Greek ideal and how he saw uh, the modern woman and what her um, trials were. And um, so we have the power of image. We go from the Greek ideal, um, the early uh, 20th century, the modern version of this, to our own century, which is what is our modern ideal, okay? And I feel like it's very similar to Gibson. You know, we love this beautiful idealized face, but we also have a sense of eclecticness to our modern ideal. And that actually opens up a window to an individual's character. So our, our modern ideal is slightly laced with this sense of the independent individual. And I want you to think about this because as graphic designers, you are creating the next modern ideal in your images.